Believe it or not, a simple QR code had the potential to take over your pair of Google Glass. It's true. Think about how many QR codes you see in a typical day. Now, odds are you probably have one pretty close to where you're watching this video right now. Well, what if I told you just looking at one with Google Glass could infect it with malicious malware? Up until a couple days ago, that was a real genuine threat for glass owners. Now, before you glass holes out there get your panties in a bunch, Google fixed the problem before it can infect anyone. But still, it's a pretty frightening thought to think that not even the world around us now is safe from hackers trying to take control of our devices. The hack would have worked like this. You walk up to a QR code with glass and then snap a photo. Then the QR code silently forces Glass to connect to the attacker's Wi-Fi access point. Once connected, the attacker can see everything the Glass hole does, including spying on all the pictures they're taking. They're even able to control Glass remotely from the web. Also, notice how I said would have worked earlier? That's because this exploit never actually saw the light of day. It was a proof of concept by the security company Lookout, which was brought to the attention of Google, who fixed the problem before news of the hack was ever made public. But it does bring up an interesting point. As we strap more and more wearable tech to our bodies, the potential to infect that tech with malware is greater too. In fact, in the same report, Lookout discovered life-saving low-tech devices like insulin pumps were vulnerable to attack since they wirelessly monitor the body's insulin levels. And if an attacker so desired, they could take over the wireless signal and disable the pump, or worse yet, give the patient improper dosages of insulin. The difference between Google Glass and the insulin pumps? Google proactively fixed the vulnerability for its users before anyone could exploit it. While the insulin pump company, Medtronic, well, they appreciated the heads up, but decided not to follow through with a fix. Awesome. But what do you guys think? As the internet of things becomes a reality, will more and more companies be proactive like Google or not do anything to protect users from potential threats like Medtronic? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, if you haven't already, please, subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying thanks, Internet of Things. I'm scared of doing anything now.